Choosing the right broker for dealing with financial products is not easy. Just like choosing a car or a wife, you never know. Let's stick with the example with a car. Right, just like when choosing a car, you never know how many people drove the car. Were there any damages? Can you rely on that car for the future? You're still talking about a car, right? Absolutely, I don't know what you're thinking about. Same thing with the brokers, we never know is this the right platform to trade on but luckily we live in times when there are so many reviews over the internet, so many happy and unhappy clients, feedbacks from fellow traders. Hey traders, my name is Petko Alexandrov, welcome to Trading Academy and stay with me until the end to learn if FXCM is a reliable broker or not. Further, this FXCM broker review will also try and point out the positives as well as the negatives of FXCM broker which will help the traders, customers and other stakeholders to take the right decision based on facts and figures. Founded in 1991 in the United States, you weren't born yet. I was. Maybe you weren't. <laughs> FXCM of late has shifted its focus out of the US market and has now started catering to some other regions. And now to the serious stuff. What about the FXCM security and regulations? FXCM is primarily regulated by FCA or the UK Financial Conduct Authority with a license number of 217689. It would be appropriate, I guess, to mention here that FXCM went through a rough patch in 2014. There are many FXCM broker reviews articles to confirm this. It is believed that FCA fined FXCM to the extent of $6 million for some fraudulent transactions with its traders. However, this has been forgotten. It was about seven years ago. I personally remember the case. But since then, FXCM has been fully compliant. FXCM also is regulated by IMF. Additionally, the service provider is regulated in Australia by ISIC or the Australian Securities and Investment Commission. It also is regulated by FSCA or Financial Sector Conduct Authority in South Africa. The French operations are also quite impressive from the regulatory standpoint because the traders are protected against possible loss to a maximum amount of 70,000 euro as per the directives given by FGDR, which is in French, I don't know if I will be pronouncing it, Fonds de Garantie des Deposits et de Resolution. Don't pronounce it in French. So is it safe? When we factor in the above things, it is quite obvious that FXCM is a low risk trading house. It uses the well known trading platform called Trading Station along with a number of other such platforms. These include Ninja Trader 8 and Trading View. All these have one thing in common it is their ability to support algorithmic trading. FXCM also perhaps is one of the few that offers Zulu Trade that is suitable for social copy trading. Finally, it also uses another powerful platform by the name TWS or Trader Workstation and the same has been powered by IBKR or Interactive Brokers. This is basically used for trading in stocks. There is a big takeaway when you deal with FXCM broker. The broker is known to collaborate with 10 different liquidity providers. They are also attached with a few other reputed and prime brokers. Therefore, as a trader, you can be sure that you will get decent prices as far as each trading session is concerned. Now let's talk about the fees. A major portion of the revenues for FXCM comes from the spreads that are marked up across assets. The spread for Euro dollar is 1.3 pips. According to many traders, 
is on the higher side when compared to various other retail forex brokers. UK traders are offered 0.7 pips and this is for euro dollar pairs however on the positive side the commodity and index cfds are priced quite competitively those who are into active mode of trading are offered lower spreads and it works to around 0.20 pips as far as euro dollar is concerned further there is a commission of 25 dollars for every 1 million dollars that is traded using fxcm broker platform if there are big corporate actions such as uh, mergers, dividends and splits. These come with index CFDs. Apart from the above $40 withdrawal fee is charged from each trader. And this certainly is a wrong and retrograde move on the part of FXCM. If an account is dormant for 12 months, an inactive fee of $50 is charged from the accounts of the traders. Additionally, $30 VPS hosting charges are also payable. However, the service provider is quite transparent as far as the charges are concerned and they are clearly visible on the right pages of their website. That is pretty understandable for me. They want to keep the active traders trading. Who can blame them about it? So I will leave it on you to decide if this is the right broker for you or not. If you have experience with FXCM, I would be happy if you share it in the comments below. This way the video will be useful for everyone watching. And before you go, you will make my day even better if you press the like button and smash the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you soon.